Yes. yes. And uh, the temperatures, something else out there, Natasha. <laughs> I had to get stamps, so I did that on my little lunch break, yeah. and I had a light jacket on. It was nice. It, yes. felt, it felt tropical. Yes, it, it truly, and it truly is in a sense because we're dragging an air mass up from thousands of miles away and bringing it over our region. And that air mass is of a tropical nature associated with that atmospheric river that's been bringing us all this rain and record rain too. But here we are, it is our first day of meteorological spring. So let's take a look at what to expect during this time period as we are here in the first day of March. The average high temperature for us as we get into the rest of this month, it'll get up to about 57 degrees just for the overall month. And as we head into April and May, of course, we expect that temperature will climb up into the 60s. Average low temperature for this month, about 40 degrees. Average rainfall for this month, that puts us at almost four inches. Now we came in a little bit short for the month of February in terms of rainfall. We almost made up for it yesterday, but didn't quite hit the mark. Let's talk about your current conditions here in Portland. We're at 58 degrees. Your temperatures overnight are going to be falling into the lower 50s, but still those overnight temperatures will be above normal. Wind still out of the south between about 5 to 10 miles per hour dew point. 52. Let's talk about that avalanche forecast for the rest of the day today in that considerable category. And this is for the back country. We expect that that will be varied over the next couple of days. Eventually that snow level is going to be coming down and giving us uh, freezing conditions closer to our mountain passes by the time we get to late tomorrow night and Thursday. But yeah, just looking at our rainfall for the last week and a half, you can see the big change that occurred as soon as we hit yesterday. We went from seeing about a quarter of an inch here or there, and then record rainfall for Portland yesterday for a single day, 1.66 inches officially, but we're still coming out with that deficit of just under an inch for the month of February. Let's look at some of the wettest days we've had so far for the year. Of course, yesterday being one of them, second behind that, that was January 3rd when we had almost one and a half inches of rain in a single day, also associated with an atmospheric river. Okay, so we have more rain to show up for us. That'll be late tonight through tomorrow morning. So. To, tonight's commute, not so much impacted because we're kind of in this lull before the next wave advances to the north. But tomorrow morning's commute will be impacted. We are expecting it to be a soaker all the way through Wednesday afternoon. Then we get to Thursday. Thursday looks a little bit different for us. Notice our airflow changes. It'll be coming out of the northwest. And we also see that moisture kind of break up and then the atmospheric river will uh, kind of change places and head on down south and start affecting uh, Northern California, which is definitely where they need more of that rain. How much more could we see here over the next day or two? We might be able to pick up an additional inch of rain for Portland, uh, slightly higher totals down towards Eugene, about an inch and a half possible at the coast. We're talking about a half inch or so. Okay, Mount Hood Meadows right now. Ha! 39 degrees, just like we saw yesterday. So definitely not something we want to keep going. We are going to see that temperature change. Here's your snow level forecast. Watch that yellow line go on down. As soon as we get to tomorrow night, we're going to see our snow levels back down to about 4,000 feet. We're going to bring it down to almost 3,000 feet as soon as we hit Friday. But Friday, we're also going to be seeing things mostly dry at that point. Going into Saturday, we're going to see your snow level closer to about 4,000 to 4,500 feet. And overall, a pretty nice weekend in terms of getting a break from the rain. Your temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s. But take a look at the rest of the week here. Uh, tomorrow's high 54. We get to 52 on Thursday. Our overnight temperatures will also get cooler even starting tomorrow. But you'll notice it over the weekend as we get our skies to clear a little bit more. Those overnight temps will be in the mid 30s. And then next week we start off on a dry note with temperatures again in the mid 50s. I like it. Dan's had an extra pep in his step this week, so I think he's enjoyed. He's happy. The Pineapple Express? The Pineapple Express. Well, it's everything that Hawaii gives us that you don't want. Well, that's true, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. better than freezing. Yeah. It is true. Mm -hmm. right. uh, coming up, uh,